Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite nifty content creator, Gardner. I said nifty a lot in that video, didn't I? <laughs> so yeah, I've talked about Firefox, I've talked about Chrome uh, in the last two videos, and uh, people keep telling me I need to try Brave. Um, I've tried Brave a long time ago. It's been, it's been many years since I've like given it a fair shake. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, I decided today is going to be the day that I try Brave, and, and I'm going to do it on video so you guys can see. Uh, that's... Uh, what? It's being used by... Um, okay. Alright, well now it's not launching. Okay, so there's no Brave running. Okay. The profile appears to be in use. Okay. Config. Um, Brave software. Rename to something else. Launch Brave again. There we go. It just didn't want to uh, play nice. All right, hey, so, all right, there's Brave. Took me a second. I don't know why it failed to launch the first couple times, but uh, yeah, here we go. So this is Brave Browser. Um, let's, let's, let's go ahead and like check out the, the, their features page. See what they say sets this browser apart from the other browsers on the market. Uh, and we're gonna try and experience as much of these as we can. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try this here. So the browser that rethinks the web. Okay, pretty pretty provocative, pretty uh, thought provoking. Uh, load pages three to six times faster. Uh, Brave, watch Brave in action head to head against Chrome and Firefox. Brave loads pages three times as fast out of the box with nothing to install, learn, or manage. We'll come back to that. Import and continue where you left off. It's easy to import your settings from your old browser. You can uh, do it during the welcome tour or later through the menus. Uh, welcome tour, there was no welcome tour as far as I could tell. Um, but it says we can import our bookmarks, so let's do that. I wanna see how this works here. Okay, we can import our saved passwords, our favorite bookmarks, our browsing history, and auto form fill data. All right, let's see if this works. To finish importing, close all Firefox windows. Okay, that should be all of them. Try again. Look at that. Uh, these don't have titles. These shouldn't have titles, but I guess we're pulling those in here. So I have to go in here and rename each of these because I just don't need them to have titles. I do like that it has all the thumb, uh, all the favicons built in. Um, that's nice. This is this is going to be tedious though. All right, well, there we go. So that that was relatively painless. All right, uh, import where you left off. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, it imported the favicons, which if you like have <laughs> uh, Firefox installed on a new machine and you sign into your Firefox account, uh, it doesn't download the favicon until you visit the website, which has its own security impl imp uh, implications. But uh, you know what, I, I, I do think that that's just a nice little feature, especially since I prefer my fa uh, favorites to have, uh, to have no text next to them when I can get away with it. All right, support your favorite sites here. Turn on Brave Rewards and give a little back to the sites you frequent most. Earn frequent flyer tokens, or BAT, for viewing for viewing privacy respecting ads through Brave and help fund the content you love. Interesting. Yes, uh, actually, there has been uh, a Brave, or uh, a basic attention token uh, thing set up for my channel for a while. I did it because people kept telling me to do it. So that's kind of nice. I, I appreciate that. It, you know, it's a little it's a little amount of bat every month. You know, it's, it's pretty nice. You have to turn on basic attention token rewards, which I'm assuming is this. 
start using brave rewards. Uh, brave private ads reward you with tokens to support content creators unlike traditional ads, all while keeping uh, your personal information private. Let's take a quick tour. Where do ads show up? Brave private ads will appear as a normal notification. You can control how often you see these ads. When do you receive rewards? Your earned tokens uh, from Brave private ads uh, throughout the current month will arrive on the 5th of the next month. Okay. Giving back made effortless. Creators receive your token contributions automatically based on your engagement level uh, that we measure as attention. Say thanks with tips. Tipping is a way to personally encourage and support content or creators that you love. Get tipping. And what can you do with tokens? Tokens can be used beyond supporting creators. You can buy digital content and other goods as merchants come on board. All right. Well, there we go. So not yet verified. This creator has not signed in. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we go to uh, my YouTube channel. Okay. Gardner Brian on YouTube. Brave verified creator. Okay, cool. That works for me. Uh, support your favorite brands. So you can uh, you can use a basic attention token to earn uh, rewards through ads that are privacy respecting, they say. So I know Brave has had a couple of uh, snafus when it comes to privacy. <laughs> if you trust them, that's great. I don't, I don't really trust a lot of uh, companies out there right now. Uh, let's scroll down some more. Experience unparalleled privacy and security. Brave fights malware and prevents tracking, keeping your information safe and secure. It's our top priority. Uh, we're not in the personal data business. Our servers neither see nor store your private, your browsing data. It stays private on your device until you delete it, which means we won't ever sell your data to third parties. All right, so the, so the shield, the shield here, shields are up for this site. Cool. Let's, let's go to a site that I know is uh, pretty bad when it comes to privacy, theverge.com. Shields are up. 13 cross-site trackers and other creepy things blocked. I like that. Other creepy things. <laughs> uh, let's advanced view. Connection upgraded to uh, HTTPS. Scripts blocked. Cross-site cookies blocked. Fingerprints blocked. All right. I like this. I, I do like that. It, it's built in. And, and Firefox has something pretty similar to this as well. Um, and I like that it says shields up because that's, I think that's a Star Trek reference if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, cool. So I like that. That's, that's pretty neat. You can also sync your devices. Uh, Brave sync, uh, currently in beta can be enabled to encrypt and synchronize your preferred settings and bookmarks. However, Brave does not have the keys to decrypt your data. I'm, I'm interested to know how that actually works. How does encryption work across devices? Uh, is it using your uh, password as like the encryption key. I find that a little uh, specious. I, 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 if you can access it across multiple devices, it has to be using uh, whatever credentials you provide as like the, the, as the, you know, key to decrypt it. So, and you provide those in plain text <laughs> when you log in. So even if they don't store those eventually, like if you log in again, they can get those and store them if they change their policy later. I don't know. I find that uh, very, very strange. Uh, all right, the list of features here. So shields, they have ad blocking, they have fingerprint protection. What is this asterisk? Ah, features marked with an asterisk are pending on one or more platforms. Okay, so how do we know uh, if fingerprint prevention is uh, on Linux? Uh, what? HTTPS upgrading, cookie controls, uh, block scripts. Where's the blocking scripts stuff? Let me block all scripts here. Interesting. Uh, configurable global shield defaults. Okay. Then we have security. So we have cleared browsing data, which is pretty uh, ubiquitous. Built-in password manager, again, pretty ubiquitous. Form autofill, okay. Uh, control content access to full screen presentation. 
Um, I don't know if, uh, maybe Firefox has something like that, but I'm not sure. Control site access to autoplay media. Ah, yeah, Firefox just added something like that. There's also the do not track uh, browsing requests, and that's something that's available in Firefox as well. Use keyboard shortcuts for alternate search engines. Let's search. So, so the default search engine is Google. How's that respecting your privacy? <laughs> uh, I don't like that. The default search engine should be DuckDuckGo, or at least not Google. You know what I'm saying? Like, I find that weird. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Wait a minute, that's pretty cool. It shows you how many ads are, uh, have been blocked and it shows you how much bandwidth has been saved and time saved, two seconds. Okay, fascinating. Um, let's see, Brave Rewards. So Brave Rewards is pretty unique to Brave. Uh, it's not gonna be on um, Firefox. You can send tips to your favorite creators. That's pretty nifty. I do like that actually. I said nifty again. I'm gonna start a running counter of the, how many times I say nifty. Tabs and windows, private windows, pinned tabs. Okay, so, yep, yep. Auto unload, I'm not sure what auto unload is. Drag and drop, yeah, duplicate, close option. What, close options? Find on page and print page. Those are all bog standard. Oh, whoa, 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 we, we got IPFS integration though. Uh, IPFS is a really cool technology. Um, browsing without intermediaries. You can access content directly from the IPFS network. Resolve IPFS URIs natively or via a gateway and install a full IPFS node in one click. What? Wait, really? If you're, if you're wondering what IPFS is, it stands for Interplanetary File System. And it's a federated platform for dis, for distributing information. Um, uh, it's kind of cool. It's built, it has like elements of blockchain and elements of like BitTorrent. Um, I actually really like IPFS and I've had a couple ideas on how to like build some cool stuff on there, but I haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> So I kind of have an issue with design when it comes to having uh, like dark modes. I find a lot of dark modes are just like light modes that have been like had the colors inverted, which never looks good. It always looks absolutely terrible. Uh, but of all the dark modes I've seen, this one's like pretty uh, inoffensive to me. A method to resolve IPFS resource. dweb.link, IPFS public gateway fallback. Redirect IPFS resources to the configured IPFS gateway. Oh, it has Tor built in. Okay, automatically redirect onion sites. I don't really know what they're talking about when it comes to IPFS. Like there's there's settings in there, uh, but it looks like it's just resolving with like a web gateway to IPFS. I'd rather have like the gateway be native on my on my machine. Like it says install a full IPFS node in one click but like, I don't see that anywhere. Like, can we search in the page? IPFS, but there's, I don't see like a button to like install an IPFS gateway. And I mean, there, there aren't that many uh, unique features here. I mean, this, this is basically feature parity with uh, Firefox's enhanced protection. Uh, Brave Rewards is a really cool uh, option. I'm wondering what the tax implications of Brave Rewards are gonna be though. Address bar, it's pretty bog standard stuff there. Security, I mean, all of this seem, seems to be pretty standard. Brave Firewall and VPN, which is a paid feature only on iOS. Um, and VPNs are kind of a, a stupid gimmick anyway. Uh, IPFS integration, cool. And uh, search, I mean, my, my Firefox, uses DuckDuckGo. I don't know if that's like the standard uh, search engine, but I don't know. I, I don't see much of a reason to switch. The fact is I am a web developer and as a web developer, you literally can't get better tools than with Firefox uh, in, in almost every instance. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with Firefox probably. Brave, it's cool. It's probably better than using uh, Google Chrome, but uh, yeah, 
I don't know. I want to say thank you to all of these guys, though, including Glenn Steen. Glenn, my dude, your support is truly appreciated. Uh, Glenn is one of the top tier Singularity members over on Patreon, uh, without whom I wouldn't be able to do this. Anyone over, everyone on Patreon, you guys are rad. You'll also notice there's two other categories over there now. Those two new categories are actually from uh, YouTube memberships. Uh, so if you want to become a YouTube member, you can hit the become a, or join or something like that down below. I could not do this without these guys. They make the world go around here on the channel. So thanks guys, I really appreciate your support. And if you believe in the work that I do, consider becoming a member, consider becoming a patron. It really helps the show out. But like I said, that's gonna do it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and have a blessed day.